Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the Dynamic Sean's Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns the relationship between WWE and CM Punk. Isn't it get is it getting any better? Is there talks? Is there something brewing? Is there something going on? PWInsider.com is reporting that relations between CM Punk and WWE were not very good. This coming after several reports of CM Punk signs being taken away from fans at Raw. It was also noted that WWE is going to take further action to make sure Punk's absence is not alluded to on WWE programming. Well, here's the thing. CM Punk has moved on. The WWE has moved on. Now the only left, the only puzzle, the only piece of the puzzle left to move on is the WWE fans, is the Chicago fans. Listen, we can all remember CM Punk for what he did and what he accomplished. We can all, you know, rewind back to the good old days of CM Punk versus John Cena. CM Punk and ROH, CM Punk and WWE, CM Punk becoming a world champion, becoming the longest reigning WWE champion in the last several years. We can remember all that. We can reminisce. We can go on the WWE Network and remember what CM Punk brought to the table and how CM Punk was the best in the world. But CM Punk doesn't care about the fans no more. CM Punk doesn't even say thank you to those who supported him. CM Punk doesn't give back to those and, you know, recognize the loyal WWE fans that made CM Punk who he was. Because as good as CM Punk was in the ring and as great as he was on the mic, if it weren't for the fans buying his merchandise and paying the tickets, if it weren't for the fans giving him such great support, CM Punk would have never made it to where he did. CM Punk would have never been pushed as hard as he was. But it was because of the fans, because of the fans' unrivaled support, their passion for CM Punk. And I'll, I'll, I'll agree, I wasn't the biggest CM Punk fan, but I jumped on that bandwagon in 2011 when he came out and he walked out with the WWE title. He defeated John Cena at Money in the Bank. CM Punk made a lot of money. Listen, CM Punk made it widely known that he wasn't going to be in it for the long run. That he wasn't going to be a John Cena. He wasn't going to be in it as long as Ric Flair was. Or as long as Hulk Hogan or Terry Funk was. And we admire that. But the least that CM Punk could have done was finish out his contract. Was at least finish out the days left. CM Punk left months earlier than what he had to. He walked out. He took his ball and he went home. And you know what? Thanks to that, Daniel Bryan was able to capitalize on that. But look what happened to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan got washed away. Daniel Bryan got injured. Daniel Bryan is yesterday's news. Now CM Punk and Daniel Bryan are out of the picture. Roman Reigns is out of the picture. Now we're looking at Ziggler. We're looking at Cesaro. We're looking at Cena still. We're looking at Orton. We're looking at NXT. We're looking where the future is bright. CM Punk doesn't care about the WWE. CM Punk doesn't care about the fans. CM Punk only is in it. Well, wasn't it perhaps for the money? What are the reasons was there? Subscribe your comments, your opinions.